What up, YouTube fans? It's your boy, your boy, C Spec Kurt, man. We are back up in here. I'm over here with the C10, man. Oh, yeah, you see the Audi right there looking fresh, 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 fresh. It's about the C10, baby. So, this is what we got for the C10. All right, so you just saw in the previous video, uh, I got my starting issue taken care of. I got the camshaft installed, which is the Edelbrock Performer RPM camshaft, which is what we got working with the Fitec Go EFI 600. Okay, so. Yeah, we got the settings on this handheld for number four camshaft. Wow, all that. And it is running awesome, guys. So what I'm going to do today is I went on here and I ordered me a, another distributor cap. I'm going to throw a fresh distributor cap on there. All right, everything looking real spiffy on the head. And I got this backup distributor cap. This is, I got this for the purpose of phasing in case I want to drill a hole in the top of it and be able to look into the cap and see exactly what my spark is on the tabs. But what I did, I ordered me a phasing cap as well. So now the purpose of getting a phasing cap, for those of you, it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with um, setting, like trying to retard your timing or anything like that. All right, the purpose of phasing is, see with the Go EFI system, and especially when it's, you're controlling your ignition timing, is that you want to prioritize synchronizing your timing on your handheld with what you're reading at the flywheel with your timing light so after synchronizing that you want to make sure that your pickup right there your magnetic pickup and the and the Distributor, distributor gear, distributor, I don't know, I can't think of the name of it, like a reluctor wheel or something like that, but you got your magnetic pickup and you got your distributor, which is where it pretty much sends a signal to fire for each cylinder. All right, you want to make sure that when that is lined up perfectly with the magnetic pickup sensor, that your distributor cap is lined up with one of these okay and then if you want to achieve your timing being in synchronization on your go to five tech go vfi once you get that you want to lock your distributor down okay and once it's locked down you don't you're going to need a, a phasing cap so that you can put the cap on there and make the adjustments with the cap by loosening this screw and then being able to rotate this to the point of where it is lined up with your distributor so that your firing will always be in sync okay so that is the purpose of these phasing caps all right so that's what's going to give you your optimal starting and all that good stuff because when you fire every time that thing picks up a signal it's going to be lined it up exactly with the distributor wire where it picks up it okay so that's the whole purpose of that so what we're gonna do is go ahead and pop off this old distributor cap and we're gonna go ahead and throw on a new one. All right. Ah. All right, gang, let me try to get this thing positioned so that I can see and you can see. All right, it's all about airbag in the video. Got two screws here, and uh, you will have to see a lot clearer what I'm talking about. So right now, before doing so, you want to lock your, put your distributor cap on here, and you want to put a mark. You want to mark on your cap where number one is, and make that line go down onto the base, so that after you have used the wrench to turn your um, your harmonic balancer, your crankshaft, so that this pickup is lined up with the sensor, you can get a good idea of how much you're going to have to make an adjustment on your phasing cap to get it lined up perfectly with where the wire is going to be on the distributor. So I'm looking here and it looks like um, 
sit my cap back on here one more time just to make sure I got a good idea where it should be. That's right there on the side. I got a mark on the side of my distributor over there that I'm looking at. And I want to make sure that this lines up with that mark. So I'm pulling it straight up. And it's pretty much there. It's not going to require much phasing at all. So it's pretty much, it's damn near on point, gang. Alright. I'm just going to double check to make sure my sensor is lined up perfectly. Magnetic pickup. You get a better look at that when you remove this rotor button. So it's pop this rotor button off real quick and don't drop your screws they're lightweight screws you just can't replace them with another screw your magnet only pick them up they're aluminum screws they might have a little bit of metal in them because it barely picks up on the threads but it doesn't pick up at all on the head I know this because I dropped it between my radiator and I couldn't pick it up with my tool all right, so what I'm doing is I'm looking down the hole here just to see how well is everything lined up. It appears that everything is lined up pretty darn good, okay? So, yeah, that's perfect right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop on my, my new cap. I'm just gonna make sure it lines up well with the line that I created here. The thing with this cap is you're gonna have to take it off anyway. Just to be able to tighten it down. All right, so now that my magnetic pickup is lined up perfectly and I'm looking here and I'm like, okay, it's off just a little bit up here. I could loosen this up. I can loosen this up here and now I can rotate up here to get me right where I need to be so everything is lined up just perfect without affecting my timing because if I loosen my distributor and turn the distributor just so this is lined up the wire now my magnetic pickup is not lined up and you're not gonna everything's not gonna be in sync you're gonna have starting, you know, it's gonna take a little more to start it up and things of that nature. You might get some popping when you're, like it's loading up or something like that, where the spark is jumping from one to, from one um, location to the to the next because it's, everything's not lined up. It's a small distributor cap, so you wanna make sure everything's lined up just right. So that's pretty much how it works, okay? It allows you to fine tune the location of your cap, okay? So that's what I want to bring to you and let you see what's going on with that. So now I'm just gonna double check this dog. Just wanna make sure it's just perfect. I wanna be able to phase it a little bit. I done bought the cap, I'm like shoot. I better be able to phase it a little bit. Okay, let's see. lined up yeah everything's looking good man and turn it a little more just to make sure I don't see more of it I turn it All right, so you can see what I'm talking about right here on the distributor see how now you can see 
You can see in there on the white thing. You can see the little how the metal's not lined up. So you want to make sure that this right here is lined up with the white the pickup on this white sensor here. All right, and you do that by putting your uh, engine at top dead center of wherever you have your timing. If you have it 10 degrees advanced at the 10 degrees advance on number one before 10 degrees before top dead center or zero degrees before top dead center, just make sure you turn your crank there and line that up. And really it doesn't matter which one, as long as you have your timing in sync. You wanna synchronize your timing first with the handheld unit with the GoAFI system. And then you commence to phase in your distributor cap so that everything is lined up. Okay. So, let me get this done. Um, hope you learned something from that video. And that was pretty much how to phase your distributor, purpose of phasing your distributor button. You have enough, the purpose of having a phasing distributor button, okay? Anyway, support Kurt, man. I'm out of here.